dead devils. Shoot faster. Yo, what's going on, fellas? It is your boys, Rallo26, man. If you guys had looked back, uh, I don't even know how long ago it was. These guys will see when I wrapped my PlayStation 4 into a white carbon fiber. If I get really close, you guys can see the actual, like, little carbon fiber design. So this is actually not a white PlayStation 4. I've had people actually ask me if I have the white PlayStation 4. No, this is not a white PlayStation 4. This is a regular black PlayStation 4. I just have it wrapped in a carbon white um, vinyl. I'm going to be removing this, man. This has been on here for quite some time now. It's time to take it off. Time, time for a new look. And if you guys follow me on Twitter, you will see that I posted this uh, image of this right here earlier today, man. So let's show you what is going to be going on the PlayStation 4. So it's no longer going to be white. This is the last day. It's going to be a white PlayStation 4. That's coming off today, man. So I'm going to do a kind of a cut commentary. I'm going to take it off. Then I'm going to show you how the PlayStation looks underneath. If there was any type of damages on it, if it's type of sticky residue. So, so those, those of you that may be thinking about doing this to your PlayStation and worrying about it damaging the PlayStation, I will show you that after you take the vinyl off, there's no damage to your PlayStation. But this is a new vinyl, man. I hope you guys like it, man. Let me remove this. Are you ready? You ready for this? Bam! Look at that right there, man. This is going to be the new cover of the PlayStation 4, man. We're getting ready for Black Ops 3. I have a scuff also on the way, man. Um, it should be here before the week is out. I am getting ready for some Black Ops 3, boys. So let's go ahead. Let's take this off and show you what the PlayStation looks like underneath. All right, boys. So I'm going to show you taking off a few of the parts so you can see what it looks like. So I kind of lift this part up already. I'm doing it in one hand, so bear with me. So we're going to go and we're going to peel this off. You guys should know what this is right here, man. This is the top of the PlayStation. So let's let's take this off. It's really still sticky after all this time. I thought it would be easy to pull off. It's a little bit sticky, man. So let's go ahead and take this off. I feel like I'm doing like Plasti Dip. <laughs> when you Plasti Dip your car. Ah. So let's go. Okay, wait, wait. Let's come back down here. Peel this back off, and there you go. So that's the part right there, man. If you look down here, you see there's really no damages to it at all. You know, but um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take off the rest of it, and then I will see y'all at the end of it. Ah, right, boys, so here is my PlayStation 4 with the vinyl removed and. I was surprised to see exactly how clean it was once I took everything off, man. So everything is off. All along the side is gone. Down on the bottom is gone. It's just back to a regular boring black PlayStation 4. So I took the packages out, man. So let me show you what the, what the wrapper is going to look like. And this is what it's going to look like right here, man. The PlayStation 4 is going to look like this. I have it lined up in order. It has the Black Ops um, 3 logo on. I think it's going to look really awesome. I think I think I was I was going to order it first. The actual um, PlayStation Black Ops 3, the limited edition, I was going to get that vinyl skin. And I saw this one, and I think this, looks, this is going to look a whole lot better on the PlayStation than the one that's actually coming with the limited PlayStation 4. And then I got two control stickers right here. And what I'm going to do with these, I have a scuff on the way. It's going to be a black scuff. And when that scuff comes, I'm going to put one of these on top of the scuff control, man, to blend in with the console. So let's go ahead, let's stick this bad boy on top of this and show you guys the final product. Alright boys, so here we are man, finished product of the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 PlayStation 4 vinyl wrap. I honestly think it looks a lot better than what they were going to give us. If I come over to the side, if you guys I try to lift it up to the side, you see it comes down here on the side with his arms and also on this side. There is no back, so there's nothing on the back. I'll show you over here on the side. There's nothing on the back. The back is still the regular PlayStation 4. Now, my only qualms about this is that not the, well, the company did not cut it exact. So you see like right here how it's curved up and up top how it's, it's, not cut, it's cut short. So it's not all the way around. But from a distance, you don't really notice it unless you really come up on the PlayStation and you see it. But honestly, I think it looks really cool, man. Uh, we got the, the, of course, the PlayStation cover. As soon as my scuff gets here, we have an unboxing of that, and that will go on the scuff, and the scuff will be matching the Xbox. Um, whoa, I said Xbox, matching the PlayStation. <laughs> and my girlfriend sitting right next to me, she's probably enjoying that little moment. So this is gonna go on the PlayStation 4 to match the PlayStation system, man, and we'll be all ready for Black Ops 3 next week, boys. So let me know, comment down below, and let me know how uh, how you like this vinyl, and I'll leave I'll leave a um, link in the description of where I got it from. 
All right, boys. It's your boys, Viral 26. Keep it sexy, baby. And keep on gaming. Peace. Yeah.